Hey guys. <coughs> Don't mind my voice. I've been sick with a cold for like the past two weeks, three weeks. By the title of this video, I will be taking you guys along with me on my health journey for one month. I am doing this sort of diet that's not typical. You probably haven't heard of it. It's PM International. So basically, it's a cell reset to activate your body. Many of you don't actually even know that I was diagnosed with Lyme disease in 2016, I think. Wow, it's been like three years already. Holy crap. I gained a ton of weight and that definitely fucked me over mentally and physically and I wasn't going to the gym, I wasn't eating right, I was just eating junk food. I literally walk to the convenience store down the street just to get junk food that my parents weren't buying at the store. Um, since then, I have improved a ton with my eating and drinking more water and exercising. My mom, she was trying to convince me last summer to do this, but I was just in ready i don't think mentally the first week of the month i have to just eat meat and i have to drink all of these supplements to substitute because i won't be eating uh vegetables and fruit for the first week so the supplements will help with that so poultry meat eggs it's just the first week that you just eat the meat and then the second, third, and fourth week you can add 150 green vegetables to my second, third, and fourth meal on the green days along with the meat and seafood and all that stuff. So right now I'm drinking Fitline Activize Oxy Plus. It's a dietary supplement. And then along with that I have to take three of these Pro Shape Amino Capsules. My first day doing this, you guys. I'm scared. <coughs> mm. Cute. So I didn't even know um, I was supposed to make this Herba Slim tea that, that Fitline also makes. My mom just left out the diagram on the table this morning. I didn't see it last night, so that's that. I'm gonna finish this and we'll move on to what I have to eat in 10 to 15 minutes. Fun fact, this is actually right where I film my monologues. I've also filmed a couple other videos here, so if you're, not, if you're an OG, I love ya. Actually, I'm here because this room has the best lighting in the house as well. I wanted to show you guys how my body looks right now, the progress pics. And once again, I just wanted to re reiterate why I'm documenting this because I feel that it'll keep me accountable if I'm filming this to keep going, not to quit. Happy that you guys are coming on this journey with me. Maybe motivate you guys to do the same and to get healthy, get fit, especially in the summertime. Um, if you're off from school, you have this free time to improve yourself immensely, then go for it. Put your health first, your mental health first, your physical health first. I've lost some weight in the past year or so, um, but this is just like how the before, when I exhale, versus inhaling you you could tell I know my my model poses and all that stuff because I've had some practice trust me after looking terrible for the past two three years since um like since being like diagnosed with Lyme and and struggling with my weight I've learned a few tricks here and there but yeah this is just the before um I obviously like I'm self-conscious about my love handles the first thing I see when I look in the mirror are my love handles I woke up not too long ago too I still am that like morning skinty so I'm not as bloated as I would be at night this is just another before when I exhale not too shabby, just I'd, I'd much rather be in better shape than this. 
I don't necessarily eat a lot of carbs. I need a diet that will get rid of all the toxins in my body and just to help with um just like with losing weight so I could feel my best like my best self. These are my legs. Not too shabby. Um and yeah, and these are my arms. My arms are like kind of I feel a little bit self-conscious about. Ooh, muscle, gotcha. And my legs sort of bother me sometimes too. Okay, and now the moment of truth. That's not right. Trust me, that is not right. <laughs> LOL. It's official. I am 189.2 pounds. Um, yeah, not much to say about that. I'm proud of myself because in the past year or so, I have lost some weight. I've been skinny like most of my life. So Lyme disease did hit hard for me. And especially like I, oh my god, am I, am I getting emotional over here? I was prescribed different antidepressants and all this stuff month after month and that definitely took a toll on my body and was struggling with what I was eating. I was didn't want to eat vegetables, I didn't want to eat fruits, um, I was drinking soda, never water, I wasn't taking my medications, it was just a whole ordeal. So hopefully by doing this I will get a sense of control back in my life, a sense of like I can do this, I can accomplish whatever I set my mind to. I am my hardest critic. To be able to tell myself like I did something and I'm proud of myself would be really huge for me because I definitely struggle with telling myself good job. Let's see what this journey will bring this journey will bring me. My aunt was telling me there are only two days that will be hard for me. The rest should be like somewhat easy. But yeah, my alarm just rang, meaning I have to go eat breakfast and I'll show you guys what I'm eating. So I'm back in the kitchen and I have my two boiled eggs right over here that I'm currently peeling. I prefer eating eggs with mayonnaise because mayonnaise is kind of life. Uh, we live for mayonnaise, we stand mayonnaise. In this household, if I gulp down water with it, it'll make it better. I can eat scrambled eggs too, just I can't add any salt. Salt is not allowed on this diet. I don't even want to say diet, it's more, it's more of a lifestyle change. Cheers to breakfast for the next 30 days. definitely could use some mayonnaise. I just talked on the phone with my mom and I told her like you'll be saving five dollars this month by not buying mayonnaise. <laughs> okay guys so I'm back. It is almost 3 p.m. and I have to eat my second meal of the day now. 10 to 15 minutes before I eat the chicken. I have to drink a uh, basic with water. Um, as you can tell probably from the packaging, this just helps with getting essential nutrients from like vegetables and fruit, which is in here. Mix that in with water. And then after I get what I had for breakfast earlier today, I have to drink that Activize. And my camera battery is about to die and I, I always keep my charger in one spot on my shelf in my room and I couldn't find it. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hopefully I find it before the camera dies. <laughs> I mean my second meal and just like that my second meal is served and this is 
the fourth meal. One piece of these looks good. I used this seasoning for the marinade. It's the Wesley Farms herb seasoning with no salt. And I used some Trader Joe's garlic powder. Good morning, guys. It is now Tuesday, July 2nd, 9.32 a.m. Yesterday, um, to be completely honest, I was starting to feel lightheaded after breakfast persistent throughout the whole day of me feeling I was gonna probably faint any second but it wasn't like terribly hard like to deal with that today I woke up hungry I'm super ready to go eat some eggs but I think I want to weigh myself once again and just to see any if there's any patterns <music> So it looks like since yesterday, I have lost three pounds. That's pretty good. That's not too shabby. But it might just be like water weight. Yeah, let's see if we can keep going. Yeah, I want to eat eggs. I'm hungry. Hey y'all, so it is now, um, what day is it today? Wow, today is Wednesday. So it is my third day <laughs> on this a uh, celery set and to tell you the truth I actually feel good finished my two bull eggs just now sorry if the lighting's a little bit wonky I don't really know like what to set you guys up surprisingly I don't feel hungry at all since I'm only eating like poultry and eggs like I don't know why I'm not hungry I'm just not I tried weighing myself this morning but for some reason the scale wasn't wanting to cooperate with me so I don't know my exact weight right now that's the least of our worries because I don't even think it's so much about the weight of the scale it's just how you feel and doing this for your health and yeah I've just been drinking a ton of water on Monday I got a six pack of essential water but I'm gonna have to go to the store probably today or tomorrow because I only have Two bottles left and it filmed too much for you guys because it's just routine for a whole week and then the second third and fourth week I can move on to eating vegetables which is exciting why the fuck you lying why you always lying oh my god stop fucking lying I love how there's just like a watermelon in the shot <laughs> Cute. We stand. Actually, right now I have to go to the post office and send out a few packages. Um, if you're not following me on Mercury, I'm selling a bunch of my stuff. A lot of pretty nasty stuff. Definitely go check that out. It is now Thursday, 8.30 p.m. I finished a delivery for Instacart. Um, if you're actually curious on like what Instacart is and how the app works, I can leave a link down below for you in the box below. I need to drink more water and I know it's a waste to be drinking bottled water at home, but let me tell you, I do not like the taste of well water and um, the refrigerator water is kind of... I, I drink it, don't get me wrong, I drink for refrigerator water, but I prefer the taste of Essentia. Not sponsored. I wish it was though. Ugh. Plus it has electrolytes in it. Oh, I think it does something. Fun story, I was getting out of the store and I didn't want to grab any more plastic bags because hello, our climate change crisis going on here on Earth. Essentia came out with three mini versions. I stacked the other pack on top of this and I had like the three mini water bottles right on top. And right as I was walking out of the store, of course the mini ones just fall right off of me. I got them to like land right by that little island with the grass that kind of like separates the crosswalk from the parking lot. I went to the car to leave the large bottles there and then I went straight back quickly to grab the mini ones that had fallen out. So that's my little fun story for you. I want to like talk about what went down today. So I went to work for a four hour shift. I'm halfway through my shift. That's when you usually get your break, your 15. Around a half an hour before, 15 minutes before, I had a 
the mini essential with me. I drank a little bit, of course, so that I wouldn't spill it everywhere. And I poured the whole packet of Activize into it. I shook that up and then I drank almost half of it. And right um, when I had left for break, I got upstairs to the break room and I poured um, all the basic packet into it. So it was a little bit of Activizer and basic in it together because I didn't have another mini water bottle for the basic separately. I hope this all makes sense. I have this fit, fit line water bottle at home. I was kind of rushing this morning so I didn't take it with me. Too late now. <laughs> I ate what was in here, which was cod with, I think my mom put dill on it. My mom's been really supportive throughout this like whole entire process, by the way. Um, every day she's made me um, hard boiled eggs because unfortunately, I don't know how to, um, well, whenever I make hard boiled eggs, I always screw it up somehow. So thank God she's here um, to like do that for me. So I ate two hard boiled eggs this morning. Um, and before that I took the three amino acid capsules and a activizer. I drank a restaurant and after that I had rotisserie chicken that my mom brought yesterday. So that's my little update for you all. I hope that wasn't too boring. I hope that it all made sense. And I actually need to go finish editing the Mexico vlog because I'm way behind on that. I know you guys don't want to hear this but I'm just so tired of iMovie. Like I just feel creatively drained. You guys don't want to hear about it. Actually, I also started just now a Stranger Things season three. Let me know what you guys think of it so far. I think it's so good. Definitely season two was my favorite. Uh, season one was and eh, like, I don't know, was it too, too much into it when I was watching season one? But maybe if I rewatched it, I would be like, hey, like that's good. Like those parts are good. Okay, I'm gonna stop blabbing now and go finish editing my vlog or watching more of Stranger Things. I actually just finished my very last shift at BJ's just now. My shift was from 9.15 to 3.45 and I was doing self-checkout. It feels good to know that I'm like moving on to other things that hopefully I can be successful at. At the same time, it is kind of sad because I, I have been working there for almost two years, so it's kind of it was kind of like routine always go there to work You know what I mean as a treat myself. I tried to be as diet. I stopped at chick-fil-a Well, I ordered the chick-fil-a filet just by itself No bun no vegetables no sauces nothing and I know there's salt in here. I think it's fine like it's okay Hello guys, um, don't mind me wearing lipstick right now. I forgot to take it off last night. Today is Monday, AKA the last day where I have to de eat just meat. Tomorrow I can add vegetables to my diet, to my cleanse. I'm about to leave for the mall because apparently at Lord & Taylor they're having really good sales on dresses. And I also weighed myself and I'm 185.8, which is kind of weird because yesterday I was 183.6, so I don't know why I would gain weight back. I don't know, that was just really weird. Or maybe it's just the scale's not working properly, I, I don't know, honestly. Uh, and yeah, that's all the catching up I had to do. See you guys later. Hey y'all, so this is actually really funny right now because I'm balancing you guys up on a watermelon. I just got back home from the mall. I'm hungry as fuck. So I have this leftover chicken still that I made last week, but 10 to 15 minutes before I have that, I need to drink an activizer and basic. Good morning, y'all. It is July 9th. I wanted to do like a little like progress report and show you my body now and do a weigh-in. Moment of truth. I am definitely not that weight. 
the scale wouldn't be working. I took it outside because I think it's like light sensitive and I was actually at 186.8 pounds. Like I know it's not about the pounds shedding, it's more of like how I feel. Even I noticed like the past two, three days, I think my body has been officially cleansing itself because I've just been so tired. I've gotten like so many pimples on my face. What I've noticed greatly is that my oh, my stomach area has tremendously gone down. Um, it's no longer even bloated. My stomach used to even like, like go out like over here probably and just go like over my pants even uh, with like a little bulge. Like love handles are a huge insecurity of mine. So I'm just waiting for those to go down as well. But other than that, like I feel great. And my legs, like, come on. Like, I feel like they lost a little fat as well. And these are my arms. Yeah. How are we doing in the back? And that's my first week check-in. That's been my first week on this new lifestyle change slash body cleanse. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, join this little family that we have here on YouTube. If you like video, if you want more videos like this, I'll definitely try to upload my second, third, and fourth week as well so stick around for that. I started out with 189 and I went down to 186.8. So that's already three pounds. That's for me, that's a lot. Even though like my weight will fluctuate, like a couple days ago, I was literally 183. This is why it's a challenge, you know? I can be tired at times. I still feel really good. I'm gonna start the next vlog for second week. Thank you guys for coming along with me on this journey. Wish me luck. And remember, start with what you have, not with what you want. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.